Hello, this is Odell, and I'm going to be doing up a tutorial on setting up the Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 AI tournament. I know this is something that I really wanted a tutorial on how to do this. And I've, after asking and asking many people, I finally got enough things put together. But this is going to be one source for everything. So you're going to want to download, I'm going to try to fit this in 50 minutes, so it might go a little quick. Um, you're going to want to download several things first. Uh, first thing is a uh, Final Fantasy hack Tactics Tournament Hack Patch, which can be found at the end of this thread, the Season 4 AI Tournament registration page. Um, or you can just type in directly this URL. This will download a folder, you'll have to extract it. I'm assuming you know how to extract if you've gotten to the point where you can uh, play on the EPSXE or PSX, then you probably know how to extract. So I'm not going to waste your time. Um, then you want to download WinHex. Um, you go to WinHex this URL, download this, and you're going to need that. All right. And you're also going to need Final Fantasy Tastic, which you'll go to this URL. Just it's a direct link to the download page. It'll download 1.44, and You'll need that. Next, you'll need, well, let me close this so you can see it. Uh, you'll go to the Final Fantasy, Tactics, Final Fantasy Hactics homepage. If you're in the form, you can click around here on the top. There's a bar that takes you to the homepage. On the right side, it'll have downloads, miscellaneous. Let's see if I can show that to you. Yeah, downloads go to miscellaneous. And in miscellaneous, you'll see CD Mage. You'll want to download that. And you'll want to install. WinHex, uh, Fantastics, and CD Mage. Um, I'm sure you know how to do that, so I'm not going to bother talking anymore on that. So you got those programs going. That's good. What you're going to need to do is, and I'll do this with a clean slate, pretty much. Tutorial. Uh, this is just one patch. This is basically the clean Final Fantasy Tactics patch. Or the ISO, not the patch, and uh, I'm going to go through on how to get it set up from going from vanilla FFT to Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 AI tournament patch. So first thing you want to do is go to your ppf matic which I'm sure if you patch 1.3 you know how to run this program. Run, um, let's see, just go to ISO file, Alright, go to the tutorial. That's the ISO file. Now the patch you're going to use is going to be in the folder you downloaded from the forum post, which you go down to Tournament Hack. You'll use Tournament Patch 13030 full, which this will probably be updated sometime in the near future since 1.3032 is out. And then click Apply. And patch successfully applied. Now we're done with ppf matic Now it's not quite ready because you got to use CD Mage. Um, now go to wherever you installed CD Mage. I did my downloads folder. And you're going to open the patch file you just patched. The file you just patched, whatever. Um, there, 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 there. Now when you open it, this is important to note, you're going to open it with N2-2352 track. Open, and then you'll uh, drop down the box there, click on battle. This will take a second to open. And then you'll scroll down to the e ETN, e ENTD3. Right click on the number 3 version, or whatever, number 3, ENTD3. Click import file. Go to your tournament hack folder, which, once again, is over here. Um, oh, whoops. Well, oh, here you go. Um, where is it there? And then you're going to import this file. 
and this if you don't do this I mean this is just it allows the maps to work so what the fuck god damn it okay so file imported successfully and you're good close um, yeah uh, next Let's see you're gonna want to generate memory cards um, basically this is a pretty simple process but it's also something that if you're not shown what it is it's annoying so go to your tournament hack you're gonna open cell memory card generator season 3 empty and well I have two of them open this one I'm just gonna show you what you need to do to get it to work correctly this is gonna you don't need to worry about this right now um, here you're gonna input well, let me minimize this I went to tab 0 this is gonna be where you input your units whatever you want uh, like and then down here of course there's gonna be the skills like let's say job knights Enter. Um, a, a, oh, there you go. Okay. And then it'll show like the abilities. You'll click on these boxes, whichever ones you want. Anyways, uh, it's not really too important right now. You'll go to the end. You're going to notice that with Season 3, Tier 3 monsters are not enabled. To enable them since Season 4, they are allowed. You're going to go to this page text. You're going to go find monsters over here. You see Cocoa, Black Cocoa. You're going to input red Cocoa. And you're going to do that for every other tier 3 monster that is allowed in season 4. Otherwise it won't work. Your team won't. You'll type in red Cocoa and you'll stop a red X. So um, I'm going to go to the other file I had. Oh wait. No. Cancel. Just close this one. No, don't save changes. I like to keep one empty completely. Now, this is a file where I ended up. I had. Um, I wanted to see how my team was going to do against Asmos because that's who I was facing in the tournament. So, I made this Excel. Or I input. Hold on, I think this is this one. I input this information. This is my team, and I input his information. This is his team. And then when I was done. You have over here the players that you've inputted. I don't know how many you can put in there, but whatever, it doesn't matter. And then you can go over here, the memory card slot, put in the name, which is easy enough just to hit equal sign and then click on whoever you want over here to be in that slot. Um, Asmo was player one, so I put him in player one slot, and I was player two. I put myself in player two slot. Now, when you're done, you're going to copy. This is how you're generating the memory card. You're going to copy this entire red block. Copy. And now you're going to open WinHex. Go to where you download or where you install WinHex. I have my, my download folder. Uh, oh, okay, I guess I'm going to scroll down. But you're going to open WinHex. And. See if I can get this to a size. Okay, well, you can see what's important, anyways. I'm gonna go to clipboard data or under edit clipboard data, paste into new file, and then you're gonna get this box. And this one you're gonna wanna go to all the way to the bottom with the ASCII hex. Alright, and you're gonna get a page like this. You're not really gonna do anything to it except to save as. Now, I think uh, this is from leftover from my. I asked around with this, but what do you type in? You type in tutorial, and then at the end, you want to make sure that you put dot gme. Otherwise, it's just gonna, it's not gonna save as a memory card that you can use. Okay, so you save that. You can close one hex now. And now you want to go to fftastic, which I have in my other folder. Um, what's this? That fantastic run. All right, so I got fantastic. Depending on your computer, I have, somehow I had a problem with this. I couldn't 
Sometimes you can just go to the tutorial or your, your memory card file and open it in Tastic. I used to be able to do that. For some reason it messed up and now it tries to open in Adobe. I don't know why, but anyways, it's just my problem. Um, you're going to open your memory card and all you're going to do is save. And if you don't do that, I mean, it's a simple process. If you don't do that, though, it's going to mess up when you try to use it. Now, this is going to gonna show you that using the tutorial um, folder, whatever version, that you can, this, this should work. Now, make sure that my memory card, I'm going to set this one to tutorial, open, OK. Now I'll run ISO, do my ISOs, um, the tutorial one, open, now let me see if I can get this into your screen, there we go, this is probably not perfect, but whatever, and I know this is only 1.3030, but when 1.3, 3.2 comes out, or whatever version is out when Season 5 hits. Well then, maybe I'll make a new t tutorial if it's any different. Um, continue. Ow, this is really loud. Can, okay. And then go to, I have it in slot 2. Alright, Asmox versus Odal. Formation. You can see all the units, their items. Um, go back. And you click on whatever. Go to map. Let's see which one. Go to go to office of Lionel. Whatever. Now you should have team one versus team two showing up. And. Hopefully, you'll also want to be able to increase your FPS uh, if you need to know how to do that. It's pretty easy because this is insanely slow. I mean, if you were to watch battles like this, you wouldn't want to watch very many of them. Uh, increasing your FPS is amazing. Uh, generally speaking, you can just hit F4 and it'll go faster. If I hit F4, it won't really go faster because I'm recording, but that just removes the frame limit. And basically, that's how you set it up. So hopefully this has been a good tutorial for you. Um, and let me know if there's any questions. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Have fun.